Hey guys, Roman in the Reaper here, it's back with a little cinema trip video. So I'm in Bangor right now, uh, heading up to the cinema here. It's really nice looking cinema with like fully recliner seats and all the screens and like proper like luxury like 1920s style deco. It looks great. Never been in it myself, but it's definitely worth a try. And yes, yeah, my first proper cinema trip back at home. I was my first boat back home because I've been on holiday for the last few weeks. But you know I did watch a few movies in the time I've gone. I rewatched Multiverse of Madness. It's an alright film, it got a bit worse than a rewatch for me, a whole a few issues. And it became a bit more like, noticeable. But it's still an entertaining enough time. I just watched Lightyear. It was decent. I, I enjoyed it. It's obviously not top shelf Pixar, but it's pretty good fun. And then I was when I got home, I watched The Grey Man on Netflix. It was all right. It was entertaining enough. Had good set pieces. Your know, Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans are great. But yeah, it's it, just, it feels just kind of been there, done that. It was entertaining enough in the action bits, although it relied a bit too much on CGI, but... Yeah, it could have been something great, but... It didn't quite live up to my expectations. But I'm back home now, back to the cinema, about to head in and see Bullet Train, which I am very, very, very excited to watch. This is like one of my most anticipated of the year. It's an 87 North action movie, so it's going to be stylish, violent, and... The trailer looks like it's going to have a bit of dark sense of humour, which yeah, is going to be great fun. And here it's got a star studded cast as well, so hopefully it doesn't let me down. And as I said, I'm in like a fully luxury recliner cinema, so yeah, even if the film's not great, like I'm at least going to have a good time like watching it. So yeah, that's, that's enough of me waffling. I'm going to head into the cinema now. I'm just down the road from it, and I'm... Okay, go get my seat, my snacks, and get ready to watch Bullet Train. Got my popcorn here in the frozen Fanta. Ready to watch Bullet Train. Oh yes, let's go. So yeah, I'm back home uh, after the film. I uh, want to think of this, this different cinema I've never been to before. Uh, I really liked it. Loved the whole decor of it and the crap the finer seats, you know. Wonderful experience and you know it went really smoothly. I said it went smoothly, the place was desolate. <laughs> but yeah. Uh now time to talk about the film. Uh yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was great. Great fun. The film essentially follows Brad Pitt as an assassin who has terrible luck, who's been doing a bit of like self improvement, and he's given a job to go onto this train, steal a briefcase, which is you know, seemingly really simple, but there's a whole bunch of other assassins after the same case. And this premise is played with kind of like a Guy Ritchie film, where we have this like over-the-top cast of characters, and there's there's even a pair of Cockneys, 
in the film they are hilarious uh and they're seemingly you know unrelated but they're all after this one thing and the film kind of like gradually spills little details you know that really connects it all together and it just comes together wonderfully in act three yeah act three of this film is fucking epic and it's <laughs> it was such a thrill to watch <laughs> it helps the, the action scenes are really really well done of course this being an 87 north production you know the action scenes are stylish you know there's <laughs> wide angles well wide angles you know this is quite a confined setting so consider that they did a really good job like allowing you to see the action long takes no shaky cam and just stylish choreography and a stylized setting similarly to john wick but it has that visceral you know that real visceral energy that keeps it so compelling to watch and yeah as i said there the film was really stylish as well it, it looks great. They really utilize the colorful Japanese setting, just some kind of fun weirdness there. But particularly with this this fictional character that they've created, Momon. <laughs> Very funny, by the way. Uh, and there's a real fun use of slow mo shots in the film as well, particularly in like the, when the White Death is introduced. And he does his gun trick where he like rolls his revolver on his on the sleeve of his jacket and loads it up. It's so cool. <laughs> and well, none of this work if the characters weren't like compelling company or particularly entertaining. And yeah, they are all very very entertaining. Brad Pitt's obviously having a ton of fun as is like unreliable action man you know, he's got the charisma and a few jokes one liners in here and there and i just love how they subvert the whole action hero thing and have him just be like kind of useless with his bad luck uh there's a whole assortment of fun characters as well we've got the father who's on a more serious personal mission the, the prince who's a schoolgirl who like uses her youth as a secret weapon but the standouts here i'd say are lemon and tangerine the cockney pair of assassins played by aaron taylor johnson and brian tyree henry they're <laughs> so funny i i love their characters they're so entertaining Ironically, they feel like they've probably been pulled in from a Guy Ritchie film, but Guy Ritchie, please cast these two in a film at some point, please. Like, not every character feels particularly fleshed out, though. Like, all the ones I listed here, you know, are clearly defined characters that go on their own, like, journeys. But there's a few characters here that really show up for, like, a scene and feel kind of like cannon fodder. Uh, I probably would have, could also have a few minutes like trimmed from the film, you know, just just to get the pacing like just perfect. I mean, it's extremely entertaining and compelling to watch. It's never boring. It's, it keeps a fairly fast pace, but, but you know, just to get it tighter, you could probably trim a few minutes, get it down like maybe below the two hour mark. But again, it's nothing too big because. The film is very compelling to watch anyway and yeah bullet train a load of fun i've really enjoyed it great time at the cinema go go see it on the big screen you'll thank me uh yeah bullet train eight out of ten great fun oh and something else i want to mention just before i wrap up the review there are two big surprise cameos you kind of have to see. One of them is more comedic, but still a big surprise. And the second one, just I had to, have to pick my jaw up off the floor. It was such a surprise. If you know, you know. 
And yeah, those are my thoughts on Bullet Train. Let me know down in the comments. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Don't forget the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Don't forget the subscribe button if you're new. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. I'm sorry, but that, that's second coming. <laughs>